All right. What's up, guys? Got Dave here. And uh, I just wanted to talk about bike setup for a second. And one thing that you could really do to, uh, or easily do to your bike to make it really handle well, make a big difference in how it handles all the time. Yeah, especially when you're up here in the canyon making turns or whatever. And uh, that has to do with the rear shock, with the actual coil spring preload setup and the amount of sag that you have um, in your bike. And even like this bike has fully adjustable suspension, but my Duke 690, which is basically the same bike as this, it doesn't have any adjustments on the suspension. It doesn't have the knobs on the top of the forks. It doesn't have the, um, the uh, compression, the high-low compression and the rebound dampening that the rear shock has. Whoa, what the, dude, get, damn, that scared me, dude. Well, that's funny, without even knowing it, I bumped my high beam. Hopefully I flashed him freaking guy man um but anyway that is uh the uh dude i totally lost my freaking train of thought um <laughs> with uh looking up and seeing a guy coming straight at me like like he's in europe <laughs> um but anyway it's the duke 690 doesn't have any adjustments except for the coil spring preload even the most basic bikes will have some sort of a coil spring preload adjustment for that rear shock. They'll either have a threaded ring that tightens or they will have something that has like notches. It has like little steps and you can be like click, click and, and make it tighter or looser on that coil spring preload. And so what I like to do since I am a, since I'm a freaking light rider, I only weigh 150 pounds compared to uh, the 180 pound rider that they uh, usually set up a bike for, usually I end up taking a couple of clicks out of that coil spring, you know, just to soften it up. Because a lot of times when I sit on a bike, it doesn't even know I'm there. And how I like to set that up is if you are holding the bike, say like by the back fender, you're holding the rear tire off the ground. When you set the bike on the ground and you let go of that fender, the bike should sag about three quarters of an inch. It should just be like, uh, just a little bit. And then when you swing a leg over it and you sit on it, it should go down another three quarters of an inch. So when you're sitting there on your bike, just static as they call it, it should be, uh, it should be freaking an inch and a half into the suspension travel in that rear. It, sh it should be into it an inch and a half. And that is the way that I have been told to set it up and that's the way I set my bikes up and it works very well for me. And no matter what I have to do, uh, that's, you know, like, like the RC8 for example, I had to take eight turns out of that coil spring. I had to make it eight turns softer on that coil spring ring, coil spring preload ring, just to get it so that when I sat on the bike that it would sag three quarters of an inch or a half an inch or whatever. I think I had that bike set up a little bit stiffer because it was more like a, a racing bike. But this bike, I have the three quarter and then when I sit on it, another three quarter. And it, it's still really stiff. It's still a really aggressive setup. And if it's not aggressive enough for you, you can always go like half inch, half inch, and then that'll be a much stiffer setup. And uh, that's, uh, that's the easiest way that I have, that I have seen to make my bike really feel like uh, a lot better just out of the box, you know, with just say you're riding home from the dealership with a brand new bike and you just pull over to the side of the road and do that one thing for for the rest of the ride home you will notice it, it you'll be like wow dude you know like i totally <laughs> that made a big difference you know because like for example for me having to take preload out of the spring it's like that makes it more comfortable you know because the suspension's actually moving under me and i'm not hitting bumps and like i'm not hurting i'm not feeling it with my back as much and stuff when i'm riding so yeah, as well as handling better you know, as well as when I'm going around a turn, it allows the suspension to take the bumps so that the chassis of the bike can track straight. You know, where if, if the suspension's not moving enough, then it, uh, then it won't freaking absorb those bumps. And then you won't have a, you won't have a smooth line through the turn because every time it hits a bump, it's going to be like changing your angle of attack. 
and it, it, it won't work good. You know, too soft a suspension doesn't work good, and too stiff of suspension doesn't work good either. You know, there's like a sweet spot that you gotta find. So, I don't know, try that out. Try out that coil spring preload, and see what you think. Let me know what you think, leave me a comment. And I will talk to you guys later, peace.